It is the 31st of the 7th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOD.net. Study says Western North America faces 21st century mega drought. Oregon, the climate's new normal for most of the coming century will parallel the long-term drought that hit Western North America from 2000 to 2004. The most severe drought in 800 years. Scientists report in a study published on Sunday. The severity and in, uh, incidents in climatic extremes, including drought, have increased as a result of climate warming. Uh, the researchers said, adding that these long-term trends are consistent with 21st century mega drought conditions. Uh, this is another one of those uh, global warming studies, so be very careful. Little Rock, Arkansas hits third highest temperature ever recorded. 111 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 44 degrees Celsius. Uh, very, very hot indeed here. Storms cause widespread power failures across Pakistan. Protests against outages turn violent. Uh, prolonged widespread power outages in most Pakistan cities during the scorching summer heat has triggered violent protests in most areas of the country. Coupled with hot and humid summer weather, the Prolonged blackout has forced outraged citizens to take to the streets to protest the tough living conditions. The protests turned violent as some of the angry protesters reportedly attacked offices of power supply department in several places, uh, damaging, uh, uh, damaging official and private properties. But they're saying nobody was hurt in the incidents. Uh, so these people are getting pretty angry. They don't have any power. Europe wrestles with searing high temperatures. Uh, Finland, the mercury rose over 30 degrees Celsius for the first time this summer in eastern Finland as meteorologists warned of severe thunderstorms later in the day. Severe heat wave, heat wave drought and wildfires destroy Russian harvest. Uh, now if we haven't have enough food crisis going on, uh, it continues across the northern hemisphere. Russia is currently in the grips of an extremely strong heat wave. City and town residents are suffocating from sweltering heat. For example, it's about 30 degrees Celsius in Moscow with prospects of the thermometer going up in the next few days. <sighs> Mutant fish with transparent scales discovered at Japanese fishery among 300,000 regular opaque fish. Uh, the au or sweet fish is a summer delicacy in japan usually coated in salt and grilled over charcoal fire the fish is known for its refreshingly sweet taste and consumed wildly by japanese people every year uh, this prefecture is west of tokyo up in the mountains um, and they're saying uh they don't know what happened they're more surprised that they caught the one fish out of three hundred thousand than they actually find uh, this mutated fish and the story continues of course NASA sees Typhoon uh, SAOLA, huge reach over the Philippines. Uh, just saw a video while they're reporting up to eight deaths. This is a huge, massive storm with floodings. Uh, there's another tropical storm just no north of that, about ready to plow into Japan. And again, all this hurricane is stirring up that Pacific Ocean right off the coast of Japan where. Uh, we know everything is laying and seeping. And finally over here, heavy rains in central and eastern Costa Rica trigger floods, force evacuations. Heavy rains in central and eastern Costa Rica have triggered floods that have forced evacuations and many uh, responsible for at least one death. Relief workers said on Sunday four people are missing down from eight earlier, according uh, to a spokesman from the local Red Cross. Over to the extinction protocol, India hit by second grid collapse in two days, 620 million people without power in a larger outage. Uh, this goes to show you need to prepare for uh, situations because you can't rely on the system. India suffered the second huge crippling power failure in two days on Tuesday, depriving as much as half of the vast and populous country of electricity and disrupted dis dis disrupting transport networks. Uh, the first power grid collapse on Monday was the country's worst blackout in a decade, and it affected seven states in the northern India that are home to more than 350 million people. Uh, but Tuesday failure was even larger. 
So the problem continues, and of course they have stories out on that. And that's about all new they have on their report. They've got another story. Europe wrestles with searing high temperatures, of course. And over to the RSOE. Of course, we've got the force fires going on in Russia. Uh, heat wave continues, an extreme heat wave continues in Japan. Uh, of course, all the drought reports throughout the United States. Uh, got volcano activity, uh, Santa Maria volcano in uh, Guatemala uh, is gearing up. More extreme weather in China, uh, landslides uh, flooding the works. Uh, forest fire in Mark Twain National Forest in the state of Missouri. And of course the heat waves rolling through. And a uh, number of forest fires through Canada and the United States. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, let's just do any news. TEPCO announces live webcam to be removed from location within hours at Fukushima Daiichi. A uh, new view near sludge storage facility is planned. And you remember the, the TEPCO official camera is pointing at um, a reactor number one and two, and you can kind of see the Rubble three and the cranes off um, working on number four. They're going to switch the location so we can get a better view of uh, what's going on in number four, number three, uh, but this will completely block out the view of number one. Uh, no telling what's going on. Um, they're saying they're switching the view due to requests from the viewers kind of thing. Associated Press, link between nuclear weapons and nuclear power, quote, becoming increasingly clear, says Japanese professor. Nuclear power industry not thrilled people are talking about it. And you got to remember, uh, what was it, a few months ago where the CIA released, yes, uh, Japan has had a secret nuclear program since the late 60s, <coughs> and we've been feeding them uh, technology and whatnot so they can develop other nuclear pro uh, program. These uh, civilian nuclear reactors develop the plutonium uh, that the military uses for their bombs and weapons and whatnot, and uh, it is a valuable source for them, hence uh, their push to keep the nuclear industry uh, in motion, even though it is messing everything up everywhere. Japan and U.S. now working together to decommission Fukushima Daiichi. First meeting was last week. They're just now getting together. Uh, genetic mutations from radiation exposure are up a hundred times, higher than anything we've encountered in the animal kingdom. Uh, a doctor, a former WHO consultant, World Health Organization, of course. I am sure authorities in the U.S. are detecting contamination from Fukushima Daiichi in fish on the West Coast and not telling people. Arnie Gunderson put out on a video. And uh, we know that this is moving up to the west coast of the United States. And the radiation continues uh, to leak out of Fukushima Daiichi and God knows where else. Uh, it's pouring out of the rivers as they drain from their fallout kind of thing, uh, seeping into the Pacific Ocean and heading over our way. Um, this is ongoing and will continue to be ongoing for a very, very long time. 57-year-old former chief of Fukushima plant had brain hemorrhage after becoming ill while out last Thursday. Quote, symptoms are serious, says TEPCO. Hemorrhotic syndromes increased ninefold after Chernobyl. Uh, the radiation just doesn't attack your thyroid. There's heart problems. There's, um, again, there's a big list of things that can happen due to severe radiation exposure over long periods of time. And uh, they're even doing studies in low dosage. So, of course, it's not good for you at all. I think they will get to the point of throwing concrete on Fukushima reactors and coming back in three to 500 years. Arnie Gunderson is saying uh, the, the situation is so extreme with the melt through. Uh, they didn't melt down. They're melting through. They're in the, in the earth um, and down into the water table again. Um, <laughs> They're coming up with ideas exactly what they're trying to do with this thing. Ex-chief of Fukushima Daiichi, bleeding from the brain, uh, Gunderson, powdered nuclear fuel laying outside containment at reactor number two. Well, this is the one that's still halfway together. Um, 
IE, IAEA sand, lead, boron, dolomite thrown over Fukushima reactor to smother fire after 311 question mark. The NRC memo, smoke could have been core concrete interaction on top of all the salt water they like to pour down on everything. Gunderson, uh, Fukushima reactor is still releasing radioactive gas. Biggest problem is buildings are leaking into groundwater, of course. And, uh, of course, Arnie Gunderson is pulling his punches as usual. And uh, it goes on and on. 200,000 people gather in Tokyo, say organizers, to protest uh, nuclear power and shutting these plants down, the white nuclear power plant. Uh, they surrounded the prime minister's office, and uh, uh, the police had to use actual um, buses to uh, make sure nobody got inside, to block everybody else kind of thing. And uh, head of internal medicine at Japan Hospital, hospital astonished by Fukushima thyroid exams. Immediate evacuation required in high contamination areas. Quote, a violation of human rights for those exposed. Unquote. Uh, the criminals, the criminals. That's about all I'm going to throw at you tonight. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Enjoy waking, everybody. Thanks.